he takes care of business, him against Mikey, is that a fight you would be interested in? Uh, Mikey, you know, has really damaged his uh, viability. So, yeah, we do that fight, but it ain't, it ain't a 50 50 split anymore. Uh, you, Loma, if he takes care of business, him against Mikey, is that a fight you would be interested in? Uh, Mikey, you know, has really damaged his uh, viability. So, yeah, we do that fight, but it ain't, it ain't a 50 50 split anymore. Uh, you, three weeks from tonight, Vasilo Mochenko back in the ring. Yeah, it's exciting. Wait, Staples Center. Right, yeah. And um, Bob, did you ever watch a Mikey Garcia Spence fight? Yes. What did you think? I thought Mikey didn't try. I mean, he, he he was there. He saw the guy was too big. Well, you know, he should have thought it out before he got into the fight. And then he played defense for 12 rounds. Well, that's cheating the people, in my opinion. A lot of people want to see Crawford Spence. They just Al uh, has to sit down and we'll do it in 10 minutes. We want it. We gotta fight Khan, we gotta beat Khan. But right after that, we'd love to do Spence next. Speaking of April 20th is coming up quickly too, a month, yeah, a month right. less than a month away. What right. can we expect? I tell everybody, Bob, it's a 50-50 fight. Khan well, has speed, experience, a nice resume. Well, he's gonna make he's gonna be make trouble for Crawford because he boxes so well. But listen, Crawford, you know, is with Lomachenko, the best to say it's a 50-50 fight is a little bit of a stretch. I'm excited. Um, message to uh, Pula fans tonight. They went crazy for him here at the arena. Yeah, he's great. He's got a big fan-friendly style. A lot style. of ladies came out for him. A lot of what? Women. Yeah, well, Bulgarians. A lot of Bulgarian women. You know what Bul Bulgaria is famous for? You know, industry? They grow all the roses that are used that. in French perfume. Now we know. That's their so beginning. What's going on guys, your boy Boxing Facts for Fiction. I need you guys to do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification icon for more videos like this. We got breaking news in the boxing world. Bob Aaron, the most famous promoter in boxing right now. He says Vasily Machenko versus Mikey Garcia is not a 50-50 fight. Mike Garcia damaged his stock by going into the Earl Spence fight and pretty much becoming a punching bag. Bob Aram said Mikey Garcia versus Earl Spence Jr. ruined Mikey Garcia. Um, Mike Garcia cheated his fans. He went in there. He didn't do nothing. Um, he knew the guy was bigger than him, but he still took the fight. And he just played survival. Um, he was in defensive mode for 12 rounds. It was a one-sided beatdown. So now Bob Aaron is saying Vasily Machenko versus Mikey Garcia is not a 50-50 fight. They're not going to give Mikey Garcia a 50-50 split. And Mikey Garcia doesn't even have a 50-50 chance of beating Vasily Machenko in Bob Aaron's opinion. He thinks Vasily Machenko probably destroys Mikey Garcia because Mikey Garcia... It's going to take a lot for Mike Garcia to come back down to uh, 135. Bob Arum said all of this before the fight even happened. Bob Arum has to be the happiest guy on earth right now. He predicted Mike Garcia to get crushed by Earl Spence Jr. And he predicted Mike Garcia to uh, lose to uh, Vasily Machenko. And now he's saying that Mike Garcia is going to take a lot for Mike Garcia to cut those weight. And come back down. And if he does come back down, it's not a 50 50 fight. But Sholomachenko will walk through Mike Garcia. Not necessarily walk through him, but beat Mike Garcia easier than before. But uh, I will have to agree with Bob Aram on this one. And a lot of you fans are going to disagree. But uh, we'll see if that fight does happen. But Sholomachenko will beat Mike Garcia. And it'll be deadly for Mike Garcia's career to take back-to-back -back losses. So in my opinion, I think Mike Garcia needs to stay away from uh, Vasily Machenko for now. If Mike Garcia goes into this Vasily Machenko fight right after he got crushed by Earl Spence Jr., and guys, he definitely did get crushed by Earl Spence Jr., whether he was knocked out or not, the amount of punishment this guy took, he's never taken that punishment in his life before. So he got crushed. It was a one-sided beatdown. Imagine a big guy like Earl Spence Jr. hitting you for 12 rounds. Nobody can withstand that.
I have no idea how Mike Garcia was able to withstand that punishment for 12 rounds. Maybe he was trying to prove a point to himself or he was trying to prove a point to a guy like Terrence Crawford who told him not to get knocked out or told him not to quit. And Mike Garcia, he just didn't want to quit. Whether risking his life or his career, he still didn't want to quit. I think the best thing for Mike Garcia was to let his corner throw in that towel. Just so he could say, I didn't throw in the towel, my corner threw in the towel. I mean, but uh, Mike Garcia disappointed in that fight. Uh, the guy didn't let his hands go. Bob Arum is right. Mikey Garcia didn't even try. He disappointed us in that fight. He should have never took that fight. He should have listened to his brothers, like Earl Smith Jr. said to him. Mikey Garcia should have listened to his brother. He should have listened to his father. He should have listened to his nephew. He should have listened to his corner. He should have listened to everybody. That was a very dangerous fight for his career. Hopefully he got paid enough and hopefully he can bounce back, but this fight is a fight that could have scarred him for life. We'll see if he bounces back. But Mikey Garcia been in the gym his entire life. So I'm sure Mikey Garcia will be able to overcome this loss. Hopefully I'm right. Because he's grew up in the gym his entire life. He's been in there with legends. Um, but he's never been in there with Earl Spence until now. And we've seen what happened. It was one-sided. He didn't even win one round. It was a sparring session. It was an embarrassment. But uh, I've seen countless of interviews. I've seen countless of interviews with uh, Robert Garcia saying Mike Garcia told him that he tried his best and his best wasn't good enough. Everything he did, uh, Earl Spence was a step ahead of him. I mean, if that's Mikey Garcia's best, then that was very horrible. Um, if he did try his best, that was, in, in my opinion, that was his worst. I've never seen Mikey Garcia so sloppy in a fight before. That was Mikey Garcia's worst performance. Um, yeah, guys, that was his worst performance. That, he did not do his best in that fight. Bob Arum is 100% right. He cheated the fans. Um, he cheated everybody who paid their hard-earned money for that pay-per-view fight. Mike Garcia versus Vasil Lomachenko is another pay-per-view fight. I'm willing to pay for her because this is a fight I think will be a little closer. Yeah, I already know the winner, but I think it'll be a little closer. It'll be a little closer because Mike Garcia has power. But Vasil Lomachenko has been in there with guys with power already. So, what type of power does Mikey Garcia really possess? Can he really knock out Vasil Lomachenko? I think he can knock him down. So, I would like to see this fight just so I can see if Mikey Garcia can actually knock down Vasil Lomachenko like uh, Jorge Linares did. I think Mikey Garcia can actually test Vasil Lomachenko. I don't think it'll be a one shot fight. I think it'll be a much closer fight. You know, sometimes people get carried away and say, oh, Vasil Lomachenko is going to walk through Mikey Garcia. Nah, nah, he's not going to walk through Mikey Garcia. I think it's going to be a competitive fight, but I think Vasil Lomachenko's superior skills will show. And Vasil Lomachenko will cruise to a victory. A hard fought 12 rounds, because I don't see anybody getting knocked out in this fight. I think Vasil Lomachenko get the... Uh, the decision, either a unanimous decision or a majority decision. I'd be surprised, maybe even a split decision. But yeah, guys, as you can see in this picture, Robert Garcia, um, he has a lot of fighters that fight on top rank. Um, so Robert Garcia has a good relationship with top rank and Bob Arum. Bob Arum has made it clear couple of times that him and uh, Robert Garcia has a good relationship so that fight could really happen I would love to see that fight that's the fight I wanted to see before the Earl Spence fight but for some reason Mike Garcia had, Mike Garcia had to dare to be great do something nobody wanted him to do well I was one of those guys who didn't want him to do it 
So you fanboys who wanted him to do it, you guys should be blaming yourself or Mikey Garcia should be blaming himself for actually taking that fight versus Earl Spencer Jr. But then again, hopefully the man was paid well. Hopefully he can support his family. But uh, it was a disgusting performance by Mike Garcia. But yeah, in my opinion, I agree with Bob Arum. It's not a 50-50 fight. It shouldn't be a 50-50 split. Even though Mike Garcia is a champion, it will be a unification bout. But uh, I think Lomo has more of an edge than he did before. I think Lomo wins this fight comfortably. But yeah, guys, do me a favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button for more videos like this.